provide a faster and simpler process of availing exemptions to the gun ban without sacrificing in play. We promulgated this amendment for one to our promise of delivering a safe, accurate, free, and fair elections. Or lose his life from an arm as and simply because he cannot defend himself with his own firearm due to the gun ban. Applications for exemptions from the gun ban were denied by the CBFAC for some officials like Supreme Court uh, Court of Appeals Justice, editors and congressmen. These are very responsible officials who, because of the sensitive nature of their work, need to protect themselves with their firearms. So granted exemptions from the gun run are the following. Number one, the Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines. Two, the Senate President and the Senators of the Republic of the Philippines. And two, security detail. Three, the Speaker and members of the House of Representatives. And two, security detail. Four, the Chief Justice and the Justices of the Supreme Court. And two, security details for each. The Justices of the Court of Appeals, the Sandigan Bayan, and the Court of Tax Appeals. The Judges of the Regional Trial Courts and Municipal Metropolitan Circuit Trial Court. And election officers, provincial election supervisors, and regional election directors. Valid permit to carry firearms outside of the residence. Condition number two, in no instance can they carry two firearms. Number three, these public officials shall sit there on April 19, 2022, the list of the firearms and qualified security detail. And in urgent and meritorious cases, the chairman of the commission is authorized by the amendment to one, grant exemptions from the bearing, carrying, and transporting of firearms or other deadly weapons, which are regulated by the PN2156. And two, the chairman of the commission is authorized to place election areas of concern under community control. The resolution was approved by four commissioners, yours truly, Pangarungan, Ray Gulay, George Garcia, and Amy Mary, a majority of the seven member commission. The same thing, or expressing the reservations, were three commissioners, supporting team, Marlon Pasquillo and Amy Ferrolino. I want to announce also that Commissioner Garcia, Commissioner Ray Bulay, Commissioner uh, Amy Mary, and I will sponsor before the Commission in Bank the proposal to decentralize the grant, the grant of gun ban exemptions to a regional committee on the ban on firearms composed of the regional election director, the PNP regional director, and the AFP regional commander to the serving candidates for district and party list representatives and local candidates in our next in-bank meeting. Okay. Any question?
Uh, I just wanted to clarify po if these exemptions given to these officials are automatic po o baka, baka kasi may iba pa sa kanilang hindi nag-apply or anything. Uh, this is automatic. Effective and executory itong resolution. Automatic yan, but they are required to comply with the three conditions that I mentioned. They cannot carry more than two firearms at one time. Uh, they have to submit not later than uh, uh, April 19, 2022, the list of the security detail and the licenses that they have. These are the three conditions na kailangan makumply ng uh, grantee nitong exemption. Sir, last po, uh, I understand, um, last po, ang uh, nabangit po ninyo, Vice President Pababa, si President Duterte po ba meron siyang <laughs> automatic yeah, that's a very good question. You know, we granted uh, a certificate of authority to the armed forces of the Philippines. Lahat ng sundalo, meron silang authority to carry firearms in the same manner na in lahat ng police, merong general authority to carry firearms. Don't forget that the president is the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of the Philippines. So meron na siyang dating exemption, si President Duterte. Got it, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. Ton. Sir, meron po ba tayong existing number ng gun ban exemptions na released? Kung ilan na po ito tayo? Wala pa sa kaya, wala pa ngayon, pero mamaya, after the press con, makukuha ko yung figures para maya makita natin, malaman natin. At saka yung mga pending pa so far. But at least, yung na-announce ni Chairman, wala 